Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope we're doing great as always, and I'm back here today uh, with uh, another episode. So let's just kick it off. Cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the 140th episode. It's really cool that we are already at such a high number. And yeah, where should we even start? I mean, first of all, uh, I'm not sure if this should be public accountability or stuff, but I'm literally just... Um, Barely scraping recording these podcasts and scraping the last pieces of my energy every single day just to be able to put them out to the world and kind of keep everything going. I mean, like, there in the last few weeks, there literally I've invested uh, a lot of time into both education in terms of there's even like I've read the book uh, in the last few weeks, a few times, uh, not, not read it, but listened to it. If I audiobooks and it's called Think and Grow Rich. I mean, it's it really seems to be very monetary from a certain point of view, and I wouldn't really say that it. Um, yeah, literally, when I was just looking at it, I thought that it would be one of those books that you read and you should just manifest anything you want. Um, but as I was listening to it more closely, there are a few concepts that really resonate with me uh, pretty hard, and. Um, yeah, like the definite definiteness of purpose or even commitment and even like how much time you're wasting every single day. I mean, the current setup that I have, I essentially don't waste any time uh, throughout the day. I'm pretty much just uh, either studying and getting better at my craft or essentially applying everything what I've learned and, and going out there and applying it and crushing it with results. And even right now, um, establish a strategy for... It's going to be a 100, 100 day battle plan, even though I'm going to be traveling to uh, two different continents within the next uh, 21 days. And about four days from now, I'm traveling to Dubai for like 48, 48 hours. Thereafter, I'm flying back to Vienna. Uh, I'm going to be um, having, having a week here and thereafter just flying to Miami again for conferences and stuff so yeah it's just about your de- the level of your dedication that you have and like how long are you willing to stick in the stick in the market and evolve from a certain point of view um yeah i mean it's it's really interesting like it's it's 130 days that i'm averaging 16 hour days and it's it's getting a lot uh, even on me, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I'm essentially like my entire mouth is full of blisters and I can barely speak. I'm not sure why, why that happened to me. Uh, and yes, yeah, so, so just kind of like really even establishing a benchmark that, okay, like, is this freaking even healthy? Um, in terms of if you want to like know how I feel, it's like literally every single day that I wake up, I'm just super optimized to go straight to work. I'm not thinking that much about like it's it's I would say a very interesting state to be in because you don't really double think about the things you're doing, which means that you don't really have the time to fear this new stuff you're working on. And like, I mean, the growth that we're exper- experiencing in certain parts of the things I'm working on are really great. And yeah, it's just about continually surpassing your limits. And like the biggest factor for me is that great, you have your time, you can invest it in any any way you want. And like for me, uh, investing it into some crap that I even won't use, like in watching Netflix or like doing some other stuff, like literally, okay, I don't want to do that. Um, I'll just rather go and study different strategies of what's actually working for different guys in the same industry as, as I'm, I'm working in and then just kind of go ahead and leverage that. And for example, today, like uh, actually two two green marketers who have sold, one is doing more than, one is doing multiple eight figures a year. The second one is doing, I'm not sure, he, he has sold like 30 million uh, of his own courses and stuff. So I literally just met these two guys on a conference last September, had a uh, few minutes just to exchange a few words with them, a few thoughts, and yeah, 
it's about the dedication like like that's the thing it's the same with bodybuilding like okay great you can just literally get into bodybuilding pretty fast but then like just figuring everything out just just getting a basic i mean like okay great just transitioning back to the think and grow rich book the big best the, the biggest learning point for from there or even like the thing that i really want to speak about is specialized knowledge a specialized knowledge is a knowledge that you acquire from someone else a specialized knowledge is more of an experience that you have like for example managing sales teams and you realize of how hard you want like you won't learn that in school and even like that's that's one of the decisions uh or one of the reasons why right now i'm just not focusing at school at all i'm literally just passing everything and just just uh, kind of like cruising there since i'm just much rather investing the time that i have here it's once you realize that you don't really have that much time left uh regardless of whether you're 22 years old whether you're i mean when you're older you you kind of like start start to realize this but when you're I kind of like always realized that there's not that much time to, to mess around, but like run, right now it's uh, it's getting a bit advanced. So even right now, like just literally uh, made a few moves. We're going to Dubai. I'm going to enjoy myself for about two days or so, uh, doing a few, st- few things that I uh, wanted to do for a very long time. And yeah, it's just about establishing the standard for yourself. Like, okay, this is the standard that you tolerate. And um can like also giving yourself the praise for the performance that you've had so yeah everything what you want in life what what you want in life is on the other side of your growth your better version of yourself and you can teach yourself or you can teach yourself or learn yourself to yeah, teach yourself that's the right word way to say that like you can teach yourself to do anything you want uh, any software, anything else. It's just about the pure amount of time and focus you're investing to actually acquiring those skills and knowledge. Um, a big one for me is just using my different phone that I actually bought. This was it this week or last week. Just um, not watching any social media and, and, and crap. Like literally just being super hyper focused on actually um, gaining knowledge when you're gaining it and also performing, producing when you're producing. A biggie for me is as, as well as that I'm just gonna switch my my the time when I go to sleep and when I wake up because it's 3 a.m. as uh, again right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna kind of switch it up and I'm gonna be waking up at 8 8 a.m. so going to sleep at like 1 a.m. Since this is a this the like, it takes me a lot to just to get up from the bed in the morning and just kind of like get become more productive from a certain point of view and yeah it's just literally everything which you don't have is on the other side of your competence and the only way how we actually acquire competence is by effort and time <laughs> and yeah, I mean, like sweat equity, you have to go out there, you have to face your demons and slash them and um, come on the other side as the winner. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm going to leave you with this today. As I said, <laughs> literally, I'm barely speaking the last few days. I have blisters in my um, mouth, so it's kind of weird just to speak. And yeah, keep crushing it, guys. Let's keep it as up. Yeehaw. Your biggest fan, Jake Jake.